they m made various suggestions for changes that they wanted and that included the insertion of extra cards pointing out that not all the Jewish leaders were hypocrites and only some of the Pharisees were hypocrites and also cutting some scenes, the scenes particularly that showed Jewish responsibility for Jesus' death. The Jewish faith weren't the only ones outraged by the way this new, unholy medium portrayed the story of Christ. This was only three years before Prohibition in America, and the Christian church demanded Griffith insert a note into the scene of the wedding at Cana, explaining why Jesus was surrounded by alcohol. Unlike Mel Gibson, Griffith felt pressured by religious groups into making the cuts asked of him, which contributed to the film's failure at the box office. The church had fired its first warning shots across the bowels of the evolving film business. Not only was Cecil B. DeMille adept at the biblical epic, but he was also an expert in capturing the mood of the American public. He decided to remake his 1923 film, The Ten Commandments, as a rally cry for all Americans in the struggle against the Red Aggressor. DeMille takes the story of the Ten Commandments and basically turns it into a version of the Cold War story that's un unfolding in his time. So we see him early on talk about Ramses as being a dictator and this being about the birth of freedom and the end of slavery. 